Hey there everyone, Jason DePaola here from the Edge Strength and Conditioning. Now in this video I'm just going to talk about uh, what I've been seeing in the last six to eight months in lockdown, but I've been seeing quite a lot over the last five to six years, and that's using like transformation before and after photographs in uh, marketing from PTs and stuff. Now, yeah, I have done it myself in the past about four or five years ago, but I, I do see it a lot more nowadays. And I'm going to tell you a few reasons why I don't do it now, um, and a few reasons why like 10, 15 years ago I couldn't really do it but I'm seeing a lot more now I do get it from personal trainers and fitness instructors that they want to show that their client has lost 10 15 pounds or whatever I do get it, and that's why I say I've done it in the past now I'm gonna show somewhere in the corner here a couple of my old clients that I did do now I don't really like doing it before and after pictures nowadays because there's a couple of reasons now because I'm British now maybe it was my luck that I got the clients that came to me didn't really want any pictures taken now the ones I'm showing you now is the people that were you know gave me their permission to do so now I wouldn't I wasn't going to take pictures of just every of my clients because I just thought that's I've got to get their permission so some of them did not say no yes or no and some of them did and I'm showing you now so some of these people are you know really are a bit insecure of having their photograph like all on the internet now I did say like you'll see here I could blur the face out I've chopped off their head and not literally chopped off they're just showing the body but you know I, I afterwards it just got a bit of a pain to do and I, and I sort of didn't like sort of telling or asking people about that now I do get it because it's like you know it's good marketing for your personal training business and I, like I said I did do it now I don't like doing those 12 week transformations because I've said in other videos it's like you know what's going to happen to my client or I see another transformation after that 12 weeks are you going to do another 12 week transformation or are you just going to sort of let your PT just keep going and hopefully you're going to keep in that same state I've seen a lot of people done that 12 week transformation a really good job lost a lot of weight got muscular brilliant but I've seen them six months a year afterwards and they've lost all that and they're back to square one in some cases they're bigger and fatter and less um, energetic than before now that's why I say um, when I my my to my clients and when I do my training it's got to be a steady state constant constant sort of like gradual build up or a weight loss or whatever now another thing why I really didn't do transformation pictures and stuff is way back when I first started in 2002 when I became a personal trainer photographs and mobile phones they were around but the cameras were a bit shitty and not many people were doing it. I could have taken a, a digital camera at the time which was about four megapixels where nowadays I don't know they're about 48 megapixels is so much much better but at the time I couldn't really do it and at the time sort of like I really didn't have a website and social media wasn't really around the only social media I think I had was MySpace if anyone can remember MySpace and Hotmail Messenger and I still think I've got my messenger somewhere uh, my, my login and my details on that but if you remember that you know you, you, you that's a long time ago but what I was doing then it's like I tell people don't worry about scales because everyone asks about scales and they, the people some of my clients and I've talked to I like, go on the scales like every day and they go oh, I'm not losing any weight well I've gone up weight and I've gone down weight. ditch the scales and I'm, I know many trainers and other people say the same thing ditch the scales but in the early 2000s all I was doing was having a tape measure and sort of measuring the thigh, the, the hips, uh, the waist, and, and somewhere around the bicep. Now that's what I was doing. I, so a tape measure was all I had. And then I could uh, give them statistics from week to, you know, month to month, and like three months, four months down the line. Now that's not really good for nowadays for social media, because I could put all statistics of people and it just would mean nothing because I'm just, it's just numbers. It doesn't really mean, you need a visual cue, a visual way of saying, seeing things. Now nowadays it's so much more easier because iPhones and all the phones are much more like uh, better, they're better quality and you can do so much with our social media. And I can understand all that. Now, but, the, but the reason I don't do it anymore is because I just don't feel like it's it's me, um, you know. I, I, I like I said, I can do it, but I just don't really feel like I, I get in my my clients any lead or any leads I do get. They say, right, first thing I want you to do is take off all your clothes or most of them, and I want to take you. I want to take a picture of you before and a picture of you twelve weeks down. Now, if the client agrees to that, happy days. But most of the time, I found out they didn't really want to do it. 
So that's that's that. But I've, I've shown you a few pictures of, you know, I have done in the past, but I don't really like doing it. Now that is hurting my marketing quite a bit, I think, because I'm not putting these pictures out. Now I, I go on social media, Instagram and that too, and almost every time I go on there, there's always a before and after picture. And, and, and sometimes uh, they, they can be faked. And sometimes it's the before and after picture doesn't really look much different. You know, sometimes it's, it can be a before and after picture and they've just changed the light in round and they've just showered or something, they've sucked in the stomach, turned to the side and you think it's, they've, they've lost five pounds. It can be faked. And also, there are so many transformation pictures now on in, on the internet, on the web. It, they, they can easily be um, half inch, just pinched from the, like in, images, and then just manipulated in Photoshop or wherever. And you just really don't know if any of them are really true. So I'm not saying all personal trainers do that, but I have heard that a few have done that in the past, and not just over in the internet where I live as well. So it, it does happen. But, but then that's what happens in the fitness industry. It's a dog eat dog world. Um, I'm afraid to say that. Like I'm in competition with thousands and millions of online trainers nowadays, and that's why I'm seeing on on. on this is why I'm saying about transformation pitches. This on the last six months, eight months, you know, with lockdown, it's all gone on to online training, and then all these um, pictures of before and after is getting more and more saturated on on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. Now, like I said. I could do it myself, I could do it, I'm, I'm just not that person. I think my training is, is good, I've learnt a lot, I keep myself educated, um, I know exactly what I'm doing, I'm really good at sort of the observation, I can see people when their form breaks down and I can correct it really good with cues and everything else. Now, yeah, like I said, it's, it's hurting my marketing and that's why I'm doing this little video just saying why I don't do transformation pictures. Um, I've probably ranted on a little bit and gone on, but I want to make the point over why I don't do it and why I think probably transformation pictures for my business is probably not the best thing for me to do. Uh, you, you, if, you, if you're looking for a personal trainer and you're looking for a strength and conditioning coach, you can go on Instagram, you can have a look at these trainers and they've got their transformation pictures up and you might think, yes, they know what they're doing. But I can tell you now, there are hundreds and thousands of other trainers out there all around the world that don't do this, that are just as good as the ones that put all these transformation pictures on there. It's the little guy, so the ones like myself that are not struggling, but they're not having got the Instagram likes, the 10,000, 4,000, you know, and all that lot. I'm hoping that you've got to the end of this video. Um, I'm hoping you can understand what I've said, because sometimes when I talk, I can, I'm, I'm slightly dyslexic, so sometimes it can come out a little bit backwards. But I'm hopefully you'll get my message through why I don't do transformations. It doesn't mean that I'm any worse than any other trainer. Like I say, I've done 18 years. I do go on about it. I've been a personal trainer for 18 years. I've done a hell of a lot of education. I can do just as well as any other personal trainer that has these transformation pictures out there. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to finish now because I'm going to keep going. Um, if you do like this video, please like and share. Oh, please like and share. Um, and please just sort of get me on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook. I know I've said about it before, but I have to be on it because if I don't, I, you know, I really won't get any clients whatsoever. So I have to do this. This is why this one's going out on YouTube and on social media as well. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please give a big thumbs up, like and share. Um, if you want any information about fitness, personal training, strength training, please shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you anytime. And I shall see you on another video coming real soon.